All right, hey Canadian Gold Mining. We're on a bluff here off the side of the road on one of our mineral claims looking for copper, silver, gold, but uh, there is some, quite a bit of copper. We're below the Brenda mine in, in a sense, south of that area. We're just busting rocks here. We uh, got a decent sample here I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring home. Some pretty interesting mineralization going on in there. That gossiness look a bit in there. Anyways, we'll keep you posted and show you some of the samples we find. So we found a pretty juicy area here we're gonna test. Definitely some hydrothermal activity or in here, a nice vein coming through. Maybe right here as well. Anyways, gonna take a test out of this orange material in the middle, the vein, probably out of these other positions here and see what see what comes out of it. Looks pretty juicy. That's the hope always. So you know, when you're taking a test like this, make sure you take it from all the different strata or rock types that you see, because you never know where the mineralization is hiding. Don't just focus on a general sample. I, at least I, that's how we try to, I try to do it. Do here, do here, do here. Because there's a lot of stuff happening here. Well, I definitely found some copper mineralization here. So that's very hopeful for this little zone here. It's just beauty. Well, we got seven samples so far. Saw some nice copper mineralization. I really want to go up to that rusty spot right there and that area, but it's a little steep. I got up to about the log and you know, I'm alone right now, so I'll do that another day when I have a partner here. So we'll head around the corner now and uh, do some more testing on the bluff here. Always start with your easiest access points and then work your way in. Makes sense, right? <laughs> hey, welcome back to Canadian Gold Mining. Out in the bush again, having some fun. We got cash coming in with us today. It's been a while. Today I'm on one of my mineral claims. It's a copper, silver, gold deposit just below the Brenda mine. I'm kind of lucky. They've done some damage along the road here and exposed a whole bunch of different mineralization. So we're gonna walk around, take some samples. I took some samples here a week ago and found something quite nice. So we're gonna try to estimate the strike and the dip of this deposit and see if we can find it down here in the woods as well. My claim line is kind of over here somewhere and most of it heads in this direction. So I'd like to find that mineralization or mineralized zone a little further down here. Let's go check it out. kind of chloritic alteration there. You got the green coming out. Let's continue up. So hey guys, I'm definitely not gonna ever pretend to be a geologist, but I am trying to learn. And while I learn, I'm trying to share. A lot of times you'll see this brown rusty color on rocks of all different types. And this is obviously iron that gets an iron staining and uh, you also get this dark color, which often can be manganese staining. So just something to share, something to think about. The other thing is actually, when you get this pink color that you often see in granite, that's gonna very likely be a potassium rich mineral. Uh, case bar is what they call it, or orthoclase, or potassium feldspar. And you'll see that in a whole bunch of different types of rocks. Um, there are some charts to help you identify rocks um, and getting to know these things is a lot of fun. Let's head up there. Yo, you coming or what? <laughs> so wandering up, seeing more colors and things. A lot of times when you see a red, uh, it is usually um, hematite. So that's just another thing that you can kind of identify and help you and again, I'm not 100% sure. There's testing to be done before you can verify this, but it's just something to you know keep your eye out and start to understand these rocks as you 
uh, are in the field. Well, we've been heading up the hill here for a bit. Nothing to report yet, but we'll keep on looking. Well guys, not far up the hill here, we found some sample with some definite malachite staining. So we've got some copper mineralization here for sure. Um, can't quite see if there's any blue in there, but I definitely see some green. Uh, let's keep looking. Oh no, and then the other thing we found is this beautiful rusty quartz vein. Uh, and it definitely has some signs of some sulfides and other things going on in there. Here with some other material. All right. It's all good. I can. Up you go. You got what? I have the power! That looks juicy up there. Let's go check that out. Well, while we wait for Cash to climb up the hill, this is Uva Ursi, Kinnikinnik. Uh, awesome kidney medicine, kidney shaped leaves. And you got these berries that are awfully gross, but they're edible. They have like a white material, fluffy kind of spongy material. Uh, in them, but they are edible and if you're survive starving in the woods and you've correctly identified this plant You can eat them up Not great, but better than nothing Cash is up here All right, well definitely found a little contact zone up here. It's gonna take some samples Cash is uh chipping away at some over there and we're uh, just getting up the hill a bit still not too far from the road this is actually the second road there's one further down below we came from but uh, yeah recording It's a beauty color. Anyone want to make some gin? Oh. Uh oh, holy shit. That was a big one. Yeah, it's all good. I'm out of the way now, I think. Come on down, Kajon.
Rain! Well, we got some samples. Spent some time in the woods. I think we're gonna drive down to the lower part of the claim. If we see anything interesting, we'll keep you posted. I just see lightning. Um, anyways, I hope everyone's staying safe out there and uh, finding lots of uh, fun stuff. <laughs> For those who don't know, we've got a website, canadiangoldmining.ca, Facebook group, Facebook page, and uh, also on Instagram. Come join the family. Love to have you. By the way, nose goes. Hey guys, so we got another sample we picked up with this beautiful pyrite or chalco pyrite cube in a quartz vein in some kind of potassium rich, you know, granodiorite it looks like maybe. Um, anyways, super exciting. Gonna grab that sample and send her off. That's great. Never know what's in that stuff. Well, out of nowhere, huge storm here. Just like 10 seconds ago, it was beauty here. We got some rain coming down. And, uh, wow. You know, in any other scenario, I would be so bummed about this rain, and but it's a nice warm day still, and we need it so bad in BC right now. This is such a relief. I pray this gets to the people out in Fintry and Monty Lake in the fires right now. Uh, anywhere, like just water, please come down. Anyways, that's not gonna stop us. Definitely would not hold the, the prospector's title if this would. So let's get on the road and uh, see what else we can find. I don't know why those guys are so scared of me, but they bolted. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go, 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 go. You're good, you're good, you're good. Oh my God, yeah, you're good. Just like, like. I don't know why, but it's always freaking Budweiser kid. You don't want to crash out here in the bush. You know what a real man does? Takes his goddamn cans with him. Put them in pocket. Well, long day and I'm gonna assume this is fake. <laughs> Unless we found some rare petroglyph of a gazelle. And there's no way, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> number five. Take number five. Oh, he's right there. Hey, dude. Hey. Pretty darn cute. Excuse me. This dude's like, no, I'm the young bull. Oh, change it. <laughs> Why don't they we have fun out here? 